What's going on, guys? It's your boy Adjen Bagen for another Alchemy Stars video. And for today, we've got the preview and the skill reveal for the upcoming 6 star and 5 star character in Alchemy Stars. So let us go ahead and check this one out. I have not seen this one. So this is my uh, first time checking this one out. I just got a notification on my uh, Discord that there, there are some uh, really juicy stuffs with Alchemy Stars news. So we have here the upcoming 6 star Rachel. Falcon in the wild uh, I'm not really sure about her design I don't really digging it uh, maybe some people will like this one but uh, she has short hair which is uh, my type uh, but mm, no, no legs exposure as a legs enjoyer you know me guys uh, this is not uh, I don't really dig this kind of design so it is what it is uh, so Rachel and then this is her base form art and this is her uh, Ascension art, A3 art. And the, the other unit that we will be getting is Zeta, which is a 5-star character. Uh, I'm not sure if she's going to be a Welper. I think she's going to be a summonable one alongside the Rachel's banner. I'm still not sure. So Zeta is really darn gorgeous. She's very cute, very kawaii. And her Ascension R3, it's not really looking like a 5-star, right? I think this one, I think she deserves a 6-star based on design. Comparing the two, I think uh, Seta has a uh, way more cooler and uh, more gorgeous design compared to the 6-star Rachel. But it is what it is. Uh, we have here the Aurorian abilities for Rachel and Seta. So Rachel is a double Thunder, another Thunder character, man. And she is a Converter. The bait, man. The bait. The bait banners before the uh, the 2.5 year anniversary. No, the 3 year anniversary. Yes. The bait banners are real, guys. So, the following represents the Aurorian's initial stats and their fully upgraded stats at max affinity. So, Rachel has 3,005 attack, 871 defense, and 7,949 HP. Which is uh, the defense and HP are pretty much on the low side, in my honest opinion. Her active skill enhancement, the active skill can be cast again before it is ready. Increase tile converting count by 2 and generates 1 additional dark tile. So, they are really introducing dark tiles. So, Chenny now has a uh, partner in the form of Rachel. Because Chenny is the only... Uh, no, not the only, but the dedicated... Uh, Dark Tile Converter in the Thunder uh, because there is Isa, I believe, if I remember correctly. Isa can also produce Dark Tiles, but she's not a, a dedicated uh, Dark Tile Converter compared to Chenny. And Chenny is a really, really good uh, Dark Tile Converter for the Thunder. And now we have Rachel. Uh, active Skill Enhancement again. So this one, for the, for the very first time, we will be getting a, a Converter class that has a uh, Equipment refinement. Yeah, because this one is active skill enhancement. These are probably from the equipment refinement. Uh, increases dark tile generation count by one. Mm, wait, or maybe this is the breakthrough. I don't know why they they uh, said it like this, but it seems like this one is going to be the breakthrough, not the, the equipment uh, refinement uh, upgrades. This one is probably BT3. And this one is probably MBT. So she's kinda hindered by uh, the amount of dark tile generation locked by MBT. So she's very, very expensive. Active skill, death recon, uh, cooldown 2 with preemptive strike. I think she, she has innate preemptive strike. Converts the three nearest non yellow tiles to yellow and generates dark tiles on two of these tiles at random. The active skill can be cast again before it is ready. Increases style converting count by 2 and generates 1 additional dark tile. After casting, the active skill's cooldown increases by 1 round and Rachel becomes exhausted. Which makes her unable to cast normal attacks or chain combos. Exhausted is removed when the active skill is ready again. Uh, the active skill is somewhat similar to the, uh, the random uh, tile generator like uh, Gronru. Something like that because if you did not use the active skill 
on that turn it was uh, already available the next turn you will have more tile converter to convert yes so this one is pretty much the same like uh, those uh, rgb uh, those uh, pokemon uh, converter in the game which is also a really good because uh, up to now they are still uh, very very strong they are still generally used Chain combo, Eagle Eye lock on. So activation, activation of chains with 3, 7, and 11 chains combo. Uh, 130, 145, 165 damage to two nearest enemies. This can be cast while exhausted, but it will inflict three Eagle Talon stocks instead of dealing damage. I don't really expect much from Rachel uh, or any tile converter to deal much damage. Equipment skill, holographic formation. Inflicts 3 eagle talon stacks on the nearest target when passing through a dark tile. At the start of the enemy's round, deals damage equal to 70% of Rachel's current attack once per each eagle talon stack. The number of stacks is halved when the round ends. If the target is killed, half of the eagle talon stacks will transfer to the nearest enemy. If Rachel is exhausted, her attack increases by 3% for every tile traverse in a connection. Mm, interesting. Uh, she has some in, uh, self uh, attack increase buff. Uh, if you pass the, in the dark tiles, uh, 3000 attack for a tile converter seems pretty decent because normally it's around uh, 2400 to 2500 dish. Normally. Let us see, we will, uh, it's better to test her out in the actual uh, Aurorian Trial before I can fully pass on my judgment on her. Uh, but we have here the suggested formation, Tiare, Rachel, Chenny, Pollux, and Florine. So Tiare is a uh, really, really strong DPS uh, oriented character in the Thunder, especially if you have the necessary uh, team building for her. like. A dedicated uh, dark tile converters because she shines well with dark tile converters like uh, Chen Ni. And so we now we have Rachel plus Chen Ni. Tiare will be uh, really, really bonkers. And alongside this one, they suggested another tile converter which is Pollux and then the double chainer which is Florine, which is uh, pretty much a meta character. Uh, you, you cannot go wrong with Florine. So they also indicate here the strategy so it's very nice that this kind of format is very informative to players because they are already suggesting uh, formation for the upcoming character and also they are explaining the strategy uh, on how to use the character so let us uh, see this one so the strategy yellow dark tiles are key to rachel and Chinese kit they can convert tiles on a large scale as well as use Dark tiles to deal lots of damage. On the other hand, Tiare can maximize her damage output with enough dark tiles on the field. <laughs> As I've said earlier, Tiare is really bonkers with dark tiles. And then we have here the F2P suggested formation. We have Tessa, Rachel, Nemesis, Beverly, and Roy. All of them are 5 star and below. The massive tile conversion provided by Rachel, Nemesis, and Beverly can significantly enhance the team's mobility and grant more attack opportunities. Uh, I'm not too sure about Nemesis here because Nemesis has a very long cooldown and Tessa does not like characters that has a long cooldown. <laughs> Tessa needs uh, short cooldown uh, Aurorians so that you will be able to gain, to gain uh, lots of Tessa mark. All in all, I think Rachel is going to be a really good uh, addition to the dark tile converters the dark tile shenanigans uh, if you are into uh building a really uh, dedicated dark tile converter in the thunder in the with the center of your main dps is tiare plus jenny then rachel is going to be a mass summon for you but take note that the three-year anniversary is very very close <laughs> yes it's very very close she's not a limited character she's not an exclusive character uh, she might come in uh, other uh, banner, so probably I'm gonna be skipping her because I really want to save my resources for the three-year anniversary because who knows, it's going to be an OP broken character. Next, we have Seta, which is a water thunder element, and she is a support. 
It's a really good thing that she is a support because not gonna lie guys, 5 star and below are not really that much use everywhere. Not really everywhere but uh, in some cases where you are not, uh, you, you don't have enough characters to use in something like Pandora Box or the Desolation Codex. Uh, in general content, in clearing Spire Dungeons, 5 star below are doesn't see that much play. But in game modes like I have said, Desolation Codex, Pandora Box, and then uh, the Into the Abyss, they might have some uh, niche uses. But if you're not a tile converter or a support character, then or if you're a DPS, then you, you will not be seeing that much play. Support and tile converters are the way to go for 5 star and below. It's not really optimal to build or use a uh, 5 star DPS character nowadays. I'm happy that Zeta is a support character because there is a reason to build her. Uh, her stats, 2,627 attack, 1,098 defense, and 8,870 HP. I mean, the defense is 1,098, not 10,000. Active skill enhancement changes active skill to preemptive strike available upon entering combat. So this is the BT, BT2. And then variety blitz active skill enhancement increases the number of tiles you can select by one. So active skill variety blitz. It has a one round cooldown, which is really really good because she is a water main element, right? And Betel is going to like her. Yes, Betel will probably like her because Betel really likes low cooldown characters. Uh, selects any four tiles, records their colors on the color board, and then resets their colors and purifies them. Blue tiles will be retained when resetting the tiles. Mm. So she's somewhat like a pseudo tile converter because she can reset the tile. She can also uh, purify them, which is a uh, has a niche uses. Active skill to Oh, she has two active skill. Secret Russell Dazzle. There's no cooldown for this skill. Zeta may cast it only when her color board is filled with colors. Preemptive Strike clears all colors from the field color board and summons Conan on one traversable tile. When Zeta casts her chain combo for the first time in this round, Conan will also search for enemies and attack them. Uh, her chain combos with ambush, 4, 9, 13 chains. Uh, Zeta releases Conan, so this one is something like a detonator chain because this one has uh, within 24 tiles in a diamond shape. It then plants its roots and explodes upon reaching the target, dealing 160% damage to 5 tiles in a cross shape. Uh, seems really interesting because for a support character to have a, uh, a detonator chain, she might uh, have some uh, really niche uses. So when Zeta casts her tier 3 chain combo, the damage range of Conan summoned by her secret Russell Dazzle active skill is expanded to one surrounding cluster. Okay, so it's better to just uh, aim for the 13 chain rather than aiming for the 4 or 9 chains. Hmm, interesting. Equipment skill Rainbow Dynamite, Color Bird. Uh, Zeta can fill up her color bird as follows. Once it is filled with color, Zeta can cast her Secret Russell Dazzle active skill. So her variety blitz active skill records the colors of the selected tile on the color board before resetting them. And then when moving to attack a target, Conan summoned by the Secret Dazzle active skill will record the colors of the tiles it traverses to the color board. Without seeing this in actual uh, combat, it's really hard to imagine this uh, resetting this, uh, selecting this this color board yada yada so it's really really better to test this one out in actual combat in the aurorian trial <coughs> the suggested formation for zeta is azure zeta bethlehem tina and saria so a lot of them are all tile converters except for azure but azure is also a tile converter this guy as a det detonator uh, yeah, and then the pre the F2P suggested formation, Zeta, Bice, Klecken, Barton, and Hydra. So, are you going to be summoning for this uh, banner? I think I'm gonna be skipping. 
yes, I think I'm gonna be skipping because as I've said, my priority target is the third year anniversary exclusive banner. Uh, they can just get be added into the wishing uh, summon also these characters, Rachel. Uh, if there will be a wish system uh, in the upcoming banners. So yeah, I'm gonna be skipping this one. Even though Rachel seems really darn good. But my Thunder teams are already pretty darn stuck. Yeah, my Thunder team is already pretty stuck. So I'm sorry Rachel, but I'm not going to be summoning for you. And even though you have my uh, hairstyle type, short hair. Still, it's not really good enough for me to summon for you. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I think that's it for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.